Just going to look at some questions where we're actually using Pythagoras' theorem. So uh, if we look at this uh, shape here, in order to use Pythagoras' theorem to find what x is, we first of all have to form a right-angled triangle. So if we put a line across here, that would form our right-angled triangle. This is 8 here. So we have one side and we have the hypotenuse. We need to find this side here. So if 12 is all the way up, like 12 is here, 6, that 6, 6 is just this part here, along here. And then, so that means that that one must be 6, because if you did 12 and you take away 6, you get 6. So we now have this triangle, whereas that is 8, 6 and x. So x squared equals, because it's um hypotenuse, so it'll be just checking that, it would be squared squared plus. So you've got to add the two small ones to get the big one. 6 squared plus 8 squared. x squared equals 6 squared plus 8 squared. So that's 36, because 6x six, six is a 36, plus 8 squared, which is 64. So x squared is 100, and then square root 100, and you end up with 10. Okay, so looking at the next one, this is 6 across here, because um, this is our right angle triangle. And, oh, sorry, I haven't given you the question. The question is to find this x here. Okay, so if that's 6, this is 20. So 20, 20 is across. Okay, and part way is just here. That's part way. So um, if we look at part of the way across, that's going to be 10 there. So that part of the way across is 10. So that's from there to there. So this part here is 20 take away 10, which is 10. That's 10. So that means that x squared equals, because it's going to find the hypotenuse, so that's x squared is 6 squared plus 10 squared. 6 squared plus 10 squared. So x squared equals 6 times 6 is 36. 10 times 10 is 100. So x squared is 136, square root your answer, and we'll just leave it in the exact form or as a third. Okay, so find the length of the diagonal. We'll put a line here. That's the diagonal. The diagonal goes from one corner to the other corner. So we put an x on there, draw an arrow from the triangle. So it's the hypotenuse, so you add them together. So you go x squared, it's important you set it up, equals 16 squared plus 4 squared. Make sure you set it up, otherwise you probably forget to square root it. 16 times 16 is 256. 4 times 4 is 16. <coughs> 2, that'll be 7. That'll be 272. And then you square root uh, 272, and that would be your answer in exact form. Okay, this next one here, we're just doing it to two decimals. So find the length of the ladder. So once again, it's on the hypotenuse. So you add the two smaller sides. So x squared is 6 squared plus 4 squared. x squared is 6, 6 is a 36. 4, 4 is a 16. x squared is equal to 52. And x is the square root of 52. And if you square root 52 you end up with 7.2. Okay, so with this one here, now we've got to find this x here. Now, that's not in any form of a triangle. So if you drop your line there, that there is your right-angle triangle. So if you move the x across, that x would be that side of the triangle there. Now, we've got this, this side of the triangle. We just need to find what this one down here is. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So if we look at that, then the, um, we go part way across, like here. Okay, that's going to be the same as this one here, which is 30. So you bring that down. The 35 goes all the way across. Okay, so 35 take away 30 is 5. So that means that length there is 5. Okay. If you draw a line across here, that's the hypotenuse. So we're not actually finding the hypotenuse, we're finding a side. So a side is x squared, 5 squared, 13 squared. 
uh, and we want to find a side, so we're going to have to subtract. There's a squared equals the big one squared minus the small side squared, or a squared equals c squared minus b squared. So 13 is the big one, So because it's the hypotenuse. So you go x squared, that's what you want to find, is 13 squared minus 5 squared. x squared is 169 minus 25. X squared is 144, and then all you need to do is square root the other side. Square root of 144 is 12. And notice I was it was a side, that's why I had to subtract.